Yeah, I saw Thunder Force, man. It was terrible. That doesn't mean Melissa McCarthy is a bad actor. Every actor has been in some bad movies, okay? Have you seen Tammy? Tammy was phenomenal. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> That's broken. <laughs> we're gonna be talking about Melissa McCarthy's abnormal film career. We're gonna be debating the time old question. Is Melissa McCarthy a bad actor? I recently got a chance to watch her new Netflix movie, Thunder Force, and <laughs> was that bad? Instead of doing a traditional review of the film, I thought it would be more fun to do a tier list of her entire film career. That's right, settle on in, cowboy, we're doing a tier list. We're keeping the ranking system pretty traditional. We're gonna have an S tier, we're gonna have an A tier, we're gonna have a B tier, we're gonna have a C tier, a D tier, and an F tier. Those are the tiers that you don't wanna be in, boys. Since Thunder Force was the movie that had this debate started, I think we're gonna start with this one. And it's a terrible movie. We're gonna move this to F tier. F tier, boys, and shrink it down a little bit. Shrink down. By looking at the cast list alone, you would think that Thunder Force was gonna be a surefire hit. Octavia Spencer, Melissa McCarthy, Jason Bateman, all playing in the same movie, playing superheroes in a super-powered world. What's not to love? Everything about it, that's what. It was terrible. I hated it. It was so bad. The characters weren't developed. The freaking just forced everything. And oh, it had no identity. It had no idea what it kind of comedy it wanted to be. A slapstick comedy. Did it want to be more of a dry sense of humor comedy? It had no idea. That's why it deserves the F rating. And next up, what are we going to do? This is not in any particular order. Just whatever catches my eye first. Identity Thief. Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy star in Identity Thief. This is a really good movie in my opinion. I loved it. I think there is a director's cut out there that really cut out some quality comedy gold that they unfortunately couldn't include into the theatrical release. Theatrical? Well, that's a word now. We're going to be going with it. And I'm going to give this a B rating. This was a really good movie. Uh, Melissa McCarthy's character steals Jason Bateman's character's identity because he has a girl's name, like Sydney, I think it was. Sydney something something. Steals the identity. He goes and chases her down because he's like down on his luck. He just lost his job. Blah, blah, blah. B tier. Let's move this over to the B tier and shrink her down. Oh. I don't know why I'm imagining that would hurt. That would probably feel good to lose a couple pounds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next up on the list, we have Spy. This one was with Jason Statham and Melissa McCarthy. And Melissa McCarthy's character is called onto the field after spending her entire spy career like behind the desk, like a whole little nerd. But they need her to go out there because all the other agents have been compromised. So they need Melissa McCarthy. This one was another fun movie. I really thought it fit Melissa McCarthy's like comedy perfectly. Jason Statham actually got me laughing too. He showed his comedy chops. He's not just a karate chop guy, but he's got some comedy chops too. <laughs> another one. Come on, man. These jokes are terrible. <laughs> All right, so let's rank this one and we'll go with, what do you guys think? What do you guys think for this one? We're gonna go with Spy, and Spy is... I'm gonna go B tier. I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna go B tier. Trick it down a little bit, and boom, right next to Identity Thief. All right, so what are we gonna be doing next? Uh, I think maybe Bridesmaids? Bridesmaids is everybody's favorite Melissa McCarthy movie. She's not the star of it. It's more of a Maya Rudolph and Kristen Wiig story, but the character that she plays in this movie is unforgettable. So I'm gonna be throwing Bridesmaids into this. This was probably the movie that introduced us all to Melissa McCarthy. So I think we gotta give it an S tier. What do you guys think? Is that too, is that too kind? S tier, maybe A tier? Uh, what are we gonna give it? What are we gonna give it? A tier? S tier? S tier. Let's go S tier. I don't think she's gonna have too many S tier movies, so... We'll have to give it to her. That was a good movie. Next up, let's do The Heat. When The Heat was first announced, it had a lot of hype behind it. Sandra Bullock, Miss Congeniality, her freaking self, was starring in a movie opposite of Melissa McCarthy, Comedy Gold. 
And I think this movie kind of delivered. It wasn't the perfect movie, don't get me wrong. It was really bad at parts. Like the enemy, I don't think was the, the main villain. I don't think he was really played out too well. The, they had, they had like a little twist ending. It's been a minute since I've seen the movie. They had like a little twist ending with the villain. And I don't think that really played out well, if I remember correctly. So with that, I'm going to give this movie a B tier. A little kind with the B tier. What do you guys think? B, C, B, C, B, T. I'm going to go C tier. I'm going to go C tier. This is going to be controversial. Everybody's going to hate me in the comments for this one. But yes, yeah, C tier. I don't think it was that special. I'm going to say that. What should we do next? Ooh, how about this one? The Happy Time Murders, huh? Happy Time Murders? Happy Time Murders. This was another movie that had a lot of hype behind it when it was first announced. It was the adult puppet movie. It had Maya Rudolph, Joel McHale, Melissa McCarthy. It really should have been a banger, but honestly, it was just mediocre. I thought it was going to be a lot better than it was. I waited until it was on Netflix. I don't know if it had like a theatrical release. I don't really remember that. A lot of drugs. I think if they went more for like a Leslie Nelson type of humor instead of the gross type of sex humor that they went for, it would have landed better. If you guys saw my review of the puppet porn musical, you guys know that puppets and porn just don't really go along. Like we, we already discussed this dudes. So. I think we're going to give this one the first D ranking. What do you guys think? D ranking? Bow, bow, bow. Double Ds. That's the first D, I guess. All right, next up, I think we should do Cook Off. Cook Off is probably a movie that you've never heard of. Cook Off was probably Melissa McCarthy's first big movie. The biggest name in it was probably Diedrich Bader. He does voice for Batman and Harley Quinn like there wasn't a really big cast of characters in it it had a lot of recognizable faces and comedians but no big names it was terrible it went for like a documentary type of style it would follow all of the contestants for this cook-off show Melissa McCarthy played one of the bigger contestants in the show one of the main stars and she was like a mess if you ever seen her SNL skits, you ever seen Melissa McCarthy on SNL, you've seen her in Cook Off. Like, that's pretty much it. This is going to be her worst rating yet. It's going to be an F rating for me. This was a terrible movie. It's on my list for top worst movies of all time. I might have to do a freaking video on it soon. Keeping with the food theme, let's go with The Kitchen. The Kitchen was one of my favorite movies of Melissa McCarthy. This is based off of one of the DC comic series that really doesn't get a lot of spotlight. It's not about superheroes or anything about that. DC Comics had this series all about like real life, real like mobsters and stuff like that. If you guys are familiar with Batman, you know that Batman has like the Falcons and all of them, like the, the mob houses that he deals with pretty much are what these deal with here. It's like a more in-depth view of all the mobsters. And I really enjoyed this movie. It was like a female Goodfellas. It really didn't have like any memorable moments in it, but I thought it was a solid first movie for a first franchise. But unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna get like a sequel or another prequel or nothing. In the, no, it's not gonna get a second movie. I think this is going to be the first movie that you guys are going to be totally against me on this one, but I'm going to go S tier on it. I'm going to go S tier on it, boys. I'm going crazy. We're going S tier with The Kitchen. All right. Let's do a little shrinky dink on that one, too. All right. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Let's do some of the movies that she's less familiar with. Uh, let's go with... St. Vincent. How about St. Vincent? Have you guys heard of this movie? St. Vincent is another movie that I really liked. It stars Bill Murray. He plays this really mean neighbor character, like the typical old man, old person that you would never want your kid to be around. But Melissa McCarthy is forced to have him watch her kid for a while while she goes and works. So it's not really a movie about Melissa McCarthy. She has a very minor role in this movie, but I wanted to throw it in there because I'm a big fan of Bill Murray, and if you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. 
this is going to be another S tier rating for me. The next movie we're going to be talking about is Nines. Nines stars Ryan Reynolds. Melissa McCarthy is another minor character in this movie, so I thought let's get it out of the way, all right? When the Nines first came out, I really didn't appreciate this movie. After a second and third watch, I really got a good grasp of what this movie was saying and what it was about, and I really enjoyed it. I got to say, this is going to be a B movie for me. It's not going to be an A ranking or an S ranking, but it doesn't deserve anything lower than a C, so B is perfect in my opinion. Oh, the Heat has some company now. All right, so we're down to the final five. I think we're going to wait until the end for Ghostbusters, all right? Let's do this one here. Can you ever forgive me? This is another movie that not a lot of people have heard of that... Melissa McCarthy shines in. She is phenomenal in this role. She just takes the scene and just mm, eats it, baby. She is a great actor in this movie. She is phenomenal. But I got to say the movie in a whole isn't that great. Don't get me wrong. This is one of the better movies that she stars in. But I think that she carries this movie. Without her performance, I don't think this movie is nearly as good as what it is. So with that, I think I'm going to put this with the A tier. Her first A, look at that. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We're about three quarters of way done. And she's got three movies S tier, two movies F tier, one movie in D, one movie in A, and two of each in here. Like, she is such an anomaly. Is she a good actor? Is she not? What's going on? The next movie we're going to be talking about is Tammy. This was the perfect role for Melissa McCarthy. It also stars Susan Sarandon. She plays Melissa McCarthy's grandmother, Pearl. They go on this road trip and it's hilarious. I love this movie. It is a lot of fun. It's not the perfect movie, but you're gonna absolutely enjoy your time watching this. So I think we should rank this one. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one, guys. I'm gonna go A tier. I'm gonna go A tier with it. Don't hate me. I think it I think it was a good movie. And that gives us the final three. Let's go with the boss. The boss. The boss stars Melissa McCarthy. She plays this big time CEO. She gets in trouble for insider trading and she is forced to live with one of her employees, Kristen Bell. While she is staying with her ex-assistant, she devises this scheme to like control the Girl Scouts and like, I think I think they sell brownies because Girl Scouts would sue them for selling the cookies. But yeah, something like that. I hated this movie. I thought it felt more like a ego thing for Melissa McCarthy. It felt more like a, like an ego project. I don't know what that's called. I can't think of it right now. Too high or something. D or F. Uh, go F tier. Let's go F tier. Next up, let's go with Super Intelligence. I think this is her most recent movie. This movie was another movie that I wasn't a fan of. I didn't like this movie. A lot of my friends really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It had some fun elements, but it wasn't nearly as fun as Tammy or her other movies. I felt that this role really was handicapped by the whole James Corbin thing. Like, it felt too played out i don't know it just felt really i felt like i've seen this movie before it felt like i had some major deja vu watching this i was like is this is this a movie that i've watched before so with that i think we're gonna give this one a d tier let's go d tier with with the old uh super intelligence finally the movie that you guys have been waiting for Ghostbusters, the female Ghostbusters. This movie gets so much hate, so much hate. Is it a bad movie though? Is it a bad movie? Yeah, it's it's a bad movie. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna go out here and try to defend this movie. It was not good. It was not terrible though. It was not terrible though. It was still watchable. Like I watched the entire movie. It wasn't one of those movies like the the Spartan 300 movie, like the spoof movie of that. I walked the fuck out of that one. So I think we're going to have to give this one a C rating. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's a great movie. 
it does have some great comedy aspects in it. Chris Hemsworth is phenomenal in that movie. You can't say he's not. Let's get Ghostbusters over here to the C tier. This solves nothing. We still don't know if she's a good actor or not. Like, I know the movies don't make the actor, but we, you can get a good telling if the person's a good actor by the movies and roles that they're taking. And just look at this. Three S tiers, two A tiers, two B tiers, three C's, two D's, and three F's. We're looking at, like, a fucking identicrisis right here, dude. I didn't do this on purpose either. I thought this was going to be much different. I thought it was going to be much heavier on the C's and F's, but just going through this, I'm being honest with you guys. These are my honest reviews of these movies. Holy shit. What is Melissa McCarthy? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That was my ranking of Melissa McCarthy's film career. If you guys want me to jump back in here and do some more tier rankings, if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. You guys are the absolute best. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Laters on the Minjay.